out with the old and in with the new let's go Right, welcome back again. You join me today. We're on the Sib again with Mr. Kev. Weather's much better than last time. Hopefully, it will stay that way. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the last Sib video. Uh, I said there might be more episodes. There's going to be. Uh, this is episode two of the Sib fishing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a like, throw us a comment, and enjoy the video. Welcome along. Oh, no. no, one of us is in and the other isn't. <laughs> oh, I'm st am I st oh, I'm still down there. I'm still in, but... All right. Oh, yours has come off, damn it. All right, and now... Yeah, I'm still in, good. Hey, a string of mackerel, finally! Got some. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, they've really done up the... Uh... Woo! Nice. Oh, they've made a big old tangle, but... Kev's into more mackerel. Not quite what we wanted, but I need some for bait. Yep, here we go. We're in. We only got one on, I think. There you go. Another mackerel straight in the bucket. There you go. I'm just feathering for mackerel at the moment. Getting a load of bait. Nice fresh bait, you can't beat it. To be honest with you, I quite like the sport for five to ten minutes. <laughs> right, we're in. We're in. Probably just some mackerel. Or a bass. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass, finally. On your... Uh... On my massive pencil jig. Well, it's not massive this time. I'm used to massive ones. A little schoolie. Not a big one, but it might be what the shoals are. There you go. Little schoolie bass. Yeah, he's definitely after a mackerel. There's loads of mackerel shoals down there, so I thought I'll pick a blue, some lure which looks like it, and that's the mackerel lure we kind of caught it off. That's the bass. You in, Kev? Yeah, that's going to be. Kev's in. And he's got a uh, little mackie. A little mackie. Oh no! He popped off. How embarrassing. Kev, Kev doesn't look too sad. <laughs> Yes, here we go. This is a better fish. Definitely a bass. Definitely a bass. Or just a very big shoal. Of Could be mackerel shoal with bass mixed in. Oh, hang on. oh, ho, ho. oh yes. Kev's in as well. Definitely Kev's got mackerel on. No, bass is a big bass, mate. It's on my minnow. There's a net behind yeah. you if you want to use it. I think you probably should. It's a nice fish. Oh, I've got a bass on as well. I've got a nice bass on too. Kev's got his bass. Stop it, we had this conversation last time. Andy, are you on channel six? We've just had two bass. Oh, I've got two bass on. I've got two bass on. But you need to be on the ridge. If you're not on the ridge, you won't get them. Right. right. Oh. A bass. Good. Oh, that's good, he's had one. Right. That's one. Grab the rod and try and get the second one in. What size are yours? Just little schoolies, mate. So we've got one on the 
Hey, two bass in the net. On back while we can. It might just be about 42, but I'm not bothered about keeping a little on like that. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Slid along. Right. And then, uh, just get this one out. There you go. <laughs> little scooty bass. We're just going to reset on the drift. <laughs> Goes back. See you later. Nothing bass again. We're into another bass. I was just winding up to get some mackerel and, uh, I saw the shoal on the bottom of the finder. I dropped it straight down and we're in straight to a bass. Yeah, cut two bass, I think. Or was it one? Not a bad one, but not, not huge. Not a shocker. Not a shocker at all. Come on, little one. Come on. Oh! Yes. I thought it had taken, I think what it's done is it's tried to take two little, two lures there. There you go, I think that's bass number four for me. Get that one back. See you later. Come on Kev, where's your double? You're gonna get one. That little sand deal. So now the tide's picking up, that little, yes, Kev's in. Oh, no. no, he's come off. Oh. Ah, bumped off. That was a, that that was a bass. bass. Yeah, yeah, I, could, I saw that. Yeah, now the tide's running fast. My little uh, torpedo jig, probably about, I don't know, maybe 80 gram, it's just not getting to the bottom quick enough. So I'm using a bit of concrete um, stainless steel weight of mine and a little muppet on the end. Never used it before, but you never know. A lot of the bass have come on sabikis today, so I'm not wasting my time trying it. Just something new, something to try, and it's cheap. So if it works, we're on to a winner. <laughs> We're in. I don't think it's going to be on my specially made jig, surely, with a muppet. I'd love it to be. I think it's going to be on the Sabikis. I'm winding it a bit too quickly for it to be. It's a bass and it's on the Sabikis. That's a shame. Well, it's not a shame. Oh, I've got two, I think. I've got two, or is it just one? It is one, isn't it? Might be. That's my muppet playing. That's the problem with a muppet, it makes, makes it look fishy. There's bass coming in. He fell in. There you go. See, it. See you later. Sometimes the little ones are easier to just try and bump them off on the side. Um, so they go down again. Rather than bringing them in the boat, you're not going to keep them. If you can try and bump them off on the side, it's better for them. Or is it a better fish? Another bass, I think. If it was a bit bigger, hopefully it'll be one for the table. Put it back for there, have you? Yeah, come on. A little look. Yeah, it's coming up too easily now, really. Ah, oh, it's another bass. It's not too bad. Might be a keeper. Uh, no, I don't think it is. But either way, it's a bass. On those little shrimp speakies. Oh, let's try and try and get that one in just to show you it's quite a nice fish oh come on ah just does not want to yeah there we go not too bad actually no calm down mate calm down I'm just trying to get that hook out here because it looked a bit more there you go another little bass on uh, Kev's boat here Put it back. We got something on the drop. Probably mackerel, I think, this time, to be honest. Might might be a bass. It's a bass, it's just a small schoolie, but ah, oh, big big mackerel actually. Nice mackerel. Yeah, nice mackerel. You're, I'm actually gonna net him because he's nice size, very nice size. He's putting up a bit of a fight like a guys. Oh, he knows he's coming in my net. A lovely mackerel, actually. Real decent size. Oh, yeah. There we go. There you go. Quite a big, big mackerel. Great for bait and eating. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, come off. No. Oh. Oh. oh, it's back on. Kev's into a fish while I'm trying to uh, 
undo the plastic off of my trebles. Now, if anyone has an easy way of getting those oh. off. Hello. Oh, nice, that's a nice one. And it's on the GT. Boom. Yeah, there you go, mate. Oh, she's in. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to fly out there. That's such a, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a better one, that's an edible. That's a keeper. Yeah. Lovely. On my 360. You said about that one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, they're damn good lures. Nice weighted. Get it down to the bottom. Excellent. Right, I'm going to try and get that off and uh, give it a go. And he's got two bass, and they're nice bass as well, actually. Look at those. We are uh, netting these. Yeah, I'm getting these again. In fact. <laughs> oh, I got one. All right, and then try and get the whole thing on. Let me try and get the second one there. Very kindly allowing me to use his slightly heavier 360 GT minnow because my minnow is a little bit smaller than that and the head's not big enough and it's just not getting to the bottom quick enough. So that's a lot better. See the braid coming off there quickly? That's what you want, get it to the bottom nice and quick. Well, I think I've got something on, I think it's probably just a mackerel. Feels like I've got something on. Oh, I've got a rock, that's why. <laughs> I actually don't mind having that rock on because it's helping me get down, get down deep. Ah, oh, nice bass. On the sabiki. On the sabiki, there you go. Just proves what they're taking. Right. Taking anything. Right, where's that net? Ah, oh, it's in front of you. Great foil. Oi! Right on, matey. Let me do that one. Probably. Maybe under here. Yeah. Don't know. No, nah, that's probably sizable. We'll, we'll, we'll check it. Oh, this is a better one. Bass on, boys. Yeah, this is a better fish. This, this is a really nice fish, unless there's a couple on, which there could be as I've got the speakies on, but this is a much better fish. Much, much better fish. Oh, hang on. Kevin as well. Ooh, it pingy pingy. Ah, yeah, bit better on that. PT. Oh. Kev's got a schoolie on, and I've got me probably, well, I don't know, it's not really edible this one, but. Oh. Well, look, so we'll get her in. Oh. Leave it to me, and go. There you go. Little bass there, get her back. Not quite big enough. Got one yet, oh, here we go on the camera. That take excellent. Is it going to be a biggish one or is it going to be a small one? It feels all right. Can't believe how good the minnows are. Literally, so, absolutely. As soon as it's hitting the bottom, yeah, it's not massive. Just lift that one in to be honest. Oh, no, calm down, calm down. There we go, another schoolie. I'm just gonna let him. I went, went in for it there. Ooh. There you go, another little schoolie. Let out a bit more line. It's a bit trickier on there. This, this rod doesn't seem to like deep water and fast flow and light lures, so you've got to work a bit harder to get it to the bottom, but when it's on the bottom, yeah, we're in, here we go. We're in. Now it's fighting. Actually a too bad one, to be honest. Not a bad fish, actually. Not quite edible, but... Nice bass all the same. <coughs> and we'll get that to the bottom quickly. I just... Free spools off because otherwise it doesn't take it down on its own because the current's too strong. Pull it up like that, and when it gets to a certain point on the spool, I kind of know where it's got to the bottom. So I'd say that's about bottom. And then just a few little knocks on the bottom, and I'm sure we'll get another bite on camera. Just cover the same distance again. It's ridiculous. Oh, I had a nibble there. 
There we go, another one. We're right off the bar now and we're still getting them, so just proves they, they are moving around. I think it shows the current moving so fast, it's blowing the bait fish way beyond the bar. Yeah, the bass, yeah. Yeah, the bass are following it. Standing, aren't they? Look at them. About there, yeah, we're in. There we go. That didn't take long at all. Every single drop, pretty much. That's a better fish. I've said this a few times, but it's quiet. Slowly guide it in. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Yes. Woohoo! See you later. <laughs> Didn't want that one anyway. Kev's. Oh, no. Just finding it standing up this time. So stable, these sibs. I'm really, really impressed with them, actually. Oh. There you go. Back to in. It's a sad, sad world. Got a bass going under your boat, John. My bass is heading for under your boat. Oh, I've got you, have I? I've got a fish on, but if you uh, you let your bail arm go, or if, tell you what, no, you wind in and try and undo it if you want. I'll let some line out to you. Don't worry about me fish. If it comes off, it comes off. Ain't the end of the world. Alright, that's currently the situation over there. Oh, I'm in. Oh, well, I am in. I knew I was in, but I'm back in. Back in. Ah, there she is. Not too big, but nice all the same. There we go. Lovely bass. Into a bass. Ah, it's two bass on. That's why it's fighting hard. Make sure there's no hooks gonna dart anywhere. Ah, oh. oh, you little bugger. Well, I got him off, that's good. See you later. And then number two. Just take taking my time because there's hooks and inflatable boats. I don't want to do any damage. There you go. Big thanks to Kev for bringing us out here. Lovely. Yeah, it's got a few mackerel there. it would be good bait for those pollock, which we're going to go oh, for. No, 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 they both dropped off. Oh. <laughs> Kev's in, oh, I'm in as well. I'll get, oh, it's a nice bass, mate. Lovely bass, look at that. Whoa, mine's ripping off. Oh, he's lifted it, well done. Right, mine's gone off. Yeah, why not, why not? As we're going to the horse. Right, I better get this in. Yep, yeah, another schoolie. Yes. There you go. Oh, it's a bass. There we go. 
Mayday call going on in the background there. Fishing boats taking on water, but. Hey. Right, so we've got to a quarter uh, tank of fuel now, so that means we're going to have to uh, head back. That's what we're going to do. We're going to head left of where we launched, and we're just going to do a little drift then back in line with the car park, and then we'll beach the sim. It's been a good day though, lots of bass, lots of mackerel, can't really complain. It's a pity that the uh, horse wasn't very kind to us, the wind's picked up, and uh, the tide was so strong it was impossible to fish, but uh, it's always next time. Anyway, better than the office, sitting at home, better than doing nothing. There we go. Right, so we get some mackerel. Well, 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 we have finished our session now. Um, it's probably about a force four wind out there. Loads of swell, loads of chop, load of white surf. Again, the wrong forecast. Um, great day out, mackerel, bass, and um, yeah, it was good fun. I really enjoyed it. Again, big thanks to Kev for taking me out in his sim. Definitely going to get one. Um, to take my dad out and friends and stuff, whether it be this year or early or late, late this year, you know, winter time, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. I'm getting a good idea now as to how you can, what you can fish with them and their limits, so yeah, good fun. Thanks for watching today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up, a comment, and have a lovely week. Take care.